you know, I believe that I finally figured out why I've been shitting Brits and what's causing me to shit Brits. And the answer is, is that every video that oh shit Brits makes makes me want to gorge my fucking eyes out with a rusty spoon. This is by far the dumbest YouTuber I have ever met. And that's saying a lot compared to the likes of Jenny McDermott and Bewilder Ape. Yeah, these people are stupid, but at least they're entertainingly stupid. But, oh shit, Brit is painfully stupid. Painful just to watch. It's, it's like nails on a fucking chalkboard multiplied by 10. I think I figured out why I have diarrhea, and it's mainly because of you, oh shit Brit. I blame you for making such shitty videos that it causes me to have diarrhea. And after this video, I'm gonna be shitting more Brits out. So that being said, let us begin of the end of the trilogy known as Shitting Brits, and I call it number three, The Shitting. Let's begin. It's fucking hot in here. And I want to perform some fucking surgery to take that fucking flute out of your neck. Hey, it's Oh Shipwreck. I have a fan going, so if you can hear that, I'm sorry, but it's way too hot for that not to be a thing. Then here's the idea. Wait until it gets cooler, so that way you can make your YouTube videos. It's not like there's like some sort of high demand to for people to watch your videos. Just saying. Over the weekend, I got a lot of comments on a video I posted maybe three weeks ago about how to teach boys not to rape. And there are entire involves around is this that society tends to forget on how to teach boys not to rape you're giving humanity far less credit than it should and they were all comments from men's rights activists meninists um. because apparently anyone who disagrees with you must be an MRA, must be a Meminist, must be a part of MGTOW. You are definitely one of the dumbest YouTubers I ever met. Because, yeah, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying there's no MGTOWs or MRAs that are commenting on your videos, but to paint them all the same fucking thing is incredibly insulting towards the human race. Your ideologies is incredibly insulting and stupid. You shouldn't be breathing the same oxygen as I am. It, it's, uh, I am neither a MRA or a MGTOW or a Meminist. And, you know, you're probably one of those feminists out there who believes that feminists are an actual movement that just designed to destroy women and make men the superior beings. You're pathetic. That there's this new, or I don't know if it's new, but uh, this group of people who hate women called um, MGTOWs or some sh** that. Every fucking MGTOW hates women. Yes, there are a few. I know one. Angry MGTOW. He, he admits that he hates women. I believe Sandman doesn't really like women at all at all. I don't know any, that many MGTOWs out there. But you don't really understand the movement at all. So you should... 
Zip your mouth. Um, it's basically they don't want to have anything to do with women. Whatever. All the comments were sort of really, like, missing the point and, um, kind of just hating on me for being a woman. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the fact that you're being nothing more than this honest piece of filth. And that you're a misandrist. But you don't want to admit it. Speaking out against rape, it made me think of this article that I wrote a while back, kind of on the top. And I just wanted to read at least parts of this article. Apparently, you write as well. Is there anything that you touch that doesn't turn into shit? And you meninists or men's rights activists or whatever you are calling yourselves these days. I hope you'll actually listen and not just say hateful things, but, uh, whatever. And I do wonder if I upload any of these videos, you're going to watch them and actually make a video response instead of playing the old so I'm being a brass card. Um, most hateful things I end up deleting anyway because I don't want that in the world. So, here we go. One of the scariest things in this culture, I believe, is the amount of men who don't realize that they've raped someone. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! Bullshit! The amount of coercion and inequality in heteronormative sexual dynamics is unbelievable. It's also extremely exhausting if you're a woman who's been a victim of these dynamics. I've had conversations with men that I know who haven't realized that they raped someone. They think it's something only evil people do. It's men with ski masks standing in alleys. The majority of the time, that's not the case. Most of the time, it's people that we know. Maybe even people that we like or that we trust or that that we're in relationships with. The thing is, rape is a really strong word and we're all really hesitant to assign that name to certain sexual instances. Not raped when the ceiling fan stops spinning. I got raped when I got a virus on my computer and I had to get an antivirus in order to remove it. I got raped when I was killed 10 times in a row in the game of Modern Warfare 2. I was raped when the lights were turned on. I got raped when I started to breathe air. But seriously though, people like yourself like to twist the word rape to the point where anything that a man does is considered rape. And not many people think of themselves as rapists, unless people are going to go around admitting it. Some people can't even go as far to logically draw the line as to what is rape and what is not rape. You're some people like yourself! They can see it in other people, but because they think of themselves as having the best intentions, they don't see what they did as rape. It's all too common for men to have sex with women who are slurring their speech and unable to even stand up. Or it's really common for men to use verbal coercion, like, I thought that you liked me, or don't you think I'm attractive? or you never want to have sex with me, what's wrong with you? Any form of coercion, whether it's guilting, embarrassing them, shaming them, lying to them, that's not consensual sex. Because if a woman feels guilty for having sex, apparently it doesn't matter if she give consent or not, because that's fucking rape! The problem is, though, many men don't realize that they're using these coercion tactics. It's so ingrained in our culture that men are just horny bastards always needing sex. This pretty much proves that you're nothing more than a misandrist. That it ends up just feeling natural. Most women that I know, and keep in mind I did not take a survey, this is just my personal experience, have had some sort of course of sex experience. Many have had multiple experiences. Here are a list of some really common things that people I know have experienced and many of them I have experienced personally. Street harassment. So if someone says hi to you and you consider that street harassment then no fucking duh! It's street harassment to you. Every day. 
all the time. Lying. You're 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 just completely lying. There's no way you were catcalled every day. You there's no way you were street harassed every freaking day. Because that would imply that men in your fucking neighborhood are nothing more than fucking perverts. But knowing that feminists like yourself would go as to far as to twist the definition of harassment to the point of just walking up to you saying hello is a form of, of harassment. Sorry, I want to see proof. Go walk around. Walk around whatever the hell you whatever the hell you want to go. Okay? You know, just go wherever. You know, take a camera. You know, just do absolutely nothing. Let's see what you consider to be harassment. I'm talking about men calling slurs out windows, making vulgar hand movements, seeing what they'd like to do to us sexually, telling us to smile and we don't feel like it. Telling a woman to smile when she doesn't feel like it, it's a form of harassment? The stupidity is outstanding within, within you. Following us down the street and in general making us feel unsafe. Normalized sexual assault. I specify normalized because I'm not talking about the kind that we all realize is bad. I'm not talking about isolating a woman in a stairwell, muffling her screams and groping her. I'm talking about coming up behind women at clubs or parties and dancing sexually with her before she even gets a chance to see her face or know your name. I'm talking about dancing with a woman, which she's okay with, but then continuing to grope her, which she hasn't consented to. Because that happens so fucking often. I'm talking about incessantly hitting on a woman by getting in her space, and her only way out is if her friend by chance passes by and sees that she's uncomfortable because they make eye contact. Because apparently every fucking man does that. Seriously, where the hell you get this idea? I mean, I understand that there are people doing this sort of thing, but what you consider harassment is incredibly fucking stupid. Another on the list is being way too conscious of our drinks, and it's not as simple as just not picking up a drink after you've set it down. We also have to be wary of the people that we accept drinks from. Not trusting the people that you're drinking around is a huge one. Solution, here's the solution. Don't drink. And if you have a drink, go buy a beer. Drinking should be a fun and easy time and people should have each other's backs in case it gets out of hand because it can be a dangerous thing. And the final thing on the list I think is something most women can sadly relate to. Giving in to someone who's begging for sex. Whether it's a husband or a boyfriend or an annoying dude who's just trying to get with you. Sometimes it's easier to just have sex with them when you could tolerate it instead of having to explain why you don't want to deal with their pouting anymore. orders. You can get those. These things are so common in many women's lives. Didn't you just say that this is more about a personal experience that you've seen this within your friends, your family members, and now you're claiming it, it's within half of the population? Once again, dishonest! ...that we've grown really tired of it. So and I'm really fucking tired of you censoring yourself. Once again, if you're going to curse, don't censor yourself. It is absolutely pointless and annoying. No one that's under the age of, say, 10 is watching your pathetic fucking videos. Sex with a man becomes a task that's shrouded with all this anxiety and worry and memories of past experiences. After being groped, harassed, and had attention drawn to certain parts of our bodies so many times, we begin to feel like our bodies aren't our own anymore. They're on display for others' pleasure. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit!
Bullshit! Bullshit! Bull, 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 bull. Shit, 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 shit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. Bullshit! How can we begin to take our pleasure into our own hands when for so long our pleasure hasn't mattered to the people around us? So then we get the tired stereotypes of the middle-aged woman who never wants to have sex anymore, and her husband doesn't understand why she's such a worn-out, bitchy, old shrew. He never takes the time to understand where her sexuality went or who took it, and she's left mourning for the sex life that she could have had if people had respected her and fostered her sexuality instead of manipulating her and using her forever everything that she was worth. These are the things that men don't see, and I'm not saying that in the kind of way that, like, you're a man and you don't understand, because I refuse to believe that men are as unempathetic as our current culture allows them to be. But you make society look fucking stupid when we teach boys not to steal, not to murder. But apparently we're not doing a good enough job to teach boys not to fucking rape. You don't give any credibility towards men. Any. Whatsoever. There is none. I am 100% sure that you hate men. You just are in denial of it. You fear men. You feel that every goddamn man that looks at you is going to be a potential fucking rapist. There is something mentally wrong with you. I think men can understand. I think some men do understand. And I really believe that it's the responsibility of every straight man who wants to have a positive sexual relationship with somebody to understand this dynamic. And if he doesn't and he's not actively fighting it, then he's a part of it. I will see you next Tuesday. Hey, oh boy, I can't wait for your next fucking video. Should be fun! Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. And I'm sorry it's not the most entertaining video of all time. Or maybe even the smartest. But to be fair, this person is extremely freaking stupid and the most I can do to her is pretty much just insult her for being stupid.